It's another video. I hope everyone's doing well. I'm Dean. I'm back. And this time, it's a bit of a bumper one because um, this again is for the the Grimsby fans in uh, in the channel. Um, there's a little bit of information to go through, uh, but also the fixtures have come out today, as well as uh, the Carabao Cup first round draw was made, as well as what would be the under 21 team to go into the Papa John's Trophy. So a lot to go through uh, in this video. So, you know, shall we get started? I think that we should. First off, we're going to start with something that broke yesterday, um, and that is that uh, Grimsby Town Football Club uh, have announced that Evan Curry has signed a new two-year deal with the club. Uh, the promising uh, midfielder enjoyed a breakthrough season at Bundle Park in 2021, making eight first-team appearances, which included a string of impressive performances in League Two. At uh, only 19, however, he struggled with injuries last season and was unable to force his way into Paul Hurst's promotion-chasing side only appearing on three occasions. The, um, I've got to say, I'm pleased for Evan. I won't deny I was surprised um, that Evan uh, was given a deal. But obviously, again, Paul sees something in him. And, uh, you know, I hope he can come uh, back into pre-season training and really show us something, because... This lad is talented, um, and he has something. So hopefully, you know, he can he can show us what he's got. He's only 19, and signing the uh, two-year deal, as he did do yesterday. Um, good, I hope it goes well, because he, he's, a, he's a good young lad. Uh, little times I saw him on the stream in 2021. Looked a bit nervous, really, but, you know, you get that, you know, you're stepping into first team. Hopefully this season he can break his way in. Uh, the club media did speak to Evan, and Evan says, I'm extremely happy and privileged to sign my second professional contract uh, with Grimsby Town Football Club, as I really believe the club and the town are on the way up, and I want to be part of it. He then goes on to say, last season was a very special, uh, was very special. Our aim from the start was to achieve promotion back to the EFL. And it's incredible uh, that we are now back where we belong. To witness all of this in my first year as a pro is something I will never forget. Uh, they also caught up with, uh, with the gaffer. And uh, Paul said this. He said, Evan is a young player and we hold uh, a lot of hope for him in the future. Last season was a tricky one for him with injuries after breaking into the scene the previous season and doing well. I'm sure he'd have liked to have been involved more than he was but he's still a young player and we want to give these lads time to develop. Evan is one of those. Um, so really, really uh, Promising words there by Paul. Uh, Paul has obviously see something in Evan um, that he likes the look of, and I, I'm all for it. You know, the more the more youth lads we can get into the team, I think uh, the better it is for the club, really. And I think Paul um, Paul knows what he's doing. Paul will. Uh, will help develop this uh, the Evan even more than uh, what he is. And hopefully this coming season will be the season that uh, Evan can start to make a little bit of a breakthrough into the first team and hopefully have a cracking uh, pre-season and go on to have a cracking season for us uh, back in the EFL. So... That's the only bit of business player-wise uh, we've done in the last uh, 24 hours. Um, 
But now we'll go on to, shall we say, the important part. Um, and fixtures have been announced. Yes, indeed they have. Fixtures have been announced. They were announced at 9 o'clock this morning. And what I'll do is I'll just take you through uh, the opening uh, day fixture, the Christmas fixtures, and the last game of the season. But I'll tell you what, I'll take you through the first couple of games. We start on July the 30th. We go away to Leighton Orient. Our first game is we've just come back from London. We now go back to London to start our season. So we ended our season in London. We started in London at Leighton Orient before before the return the following week of Ben Fox as we host Northampton on the 6th of August. So Leighton Orient and Northampton are the two games that start the Mariners season in just five weeks. I can't believe I'm saying that in just five weeks. If we go on to towards the Christmas fixtures now, I'll take you through the Christmas program. Um, we've got trips to Mansfield. Um, we're against Tranmere and Wimbledon before Boxing Day. Uh, we hope we go to Harrogate. So we go to Mansfield. We go to Harrogate. We host Salford on the 29th. And we start next year on new year's day that's a sunday um against stockport county um there's no easy fixtures in this league at all i'm liking though i'm liking our um uh, um our mix here and i think that we could you know we could surprise a few people and hooray we actually finish at home the final three fixtures uh, for Grimsby are Trummy away on the 22nd of April. On the 29th of April, it's Stevenage away. And uh, we finish at home to Wimbledon. I, I, I think it's great that we're going to finish at home uh, on May the 6th. That'll be the final day of the season. Um, Mariners fans, what are your take on the fixture lists? And I've seen a few people say that um, that they're very, very pleased uh, that starting with Leighton Orient. And it had to be, didn't it? Um, uh, we lose Ben Fox and then within, within, within six weeks we're playing him that he's coming back to Wonder Park to play. So I, I, I think that was written in the stars, really. And um, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a topsy turvy season, I feel. And uh, you guys will be able to see my predictions for League Two uh, coming up in a week or so's time. Look out for it. Uh, do subscribe for that. That is coming. And I think this is going to be, now the fixtures are out, everyone can now start to plan their trips, their travel, what they, where they're going to go, you know, and it, it, it now feels real. I don't know about the rest of you fans, it now starts to feel very, very real. Um, obviously, uh, the 10th of August is what's penciled in. For, um, for our fixture. But the Carabao Cup first round. Is penciled in for the 10th. Of August. Uh, and you wonder why have I mentioned that? Well why have I mentioned that? That is a very very good question. I've mentioned that because. That was drawn today as well. The Carabao Cup was drew today. Um, first round, it's so good though to. As you say, we're back in the League Cup. Uh, I know a few fans did not exactly 
they weren't overjoyed by the um, by the draw that we got. Um, I think why not? But uh, we're back in the league, guys. Come on, we're back in the league cup. Would you rather have league cup or would you rather have the FA Trophy? I suppose the FA Trophy. You know, uh, I'm looking forward to this. Um, it basically goes like this: Grimsby Town at home. Yes, at home. If there's one thing in the cup that we haven't been in the last couple of years, is at home. Uh, we're home to crew in uh, round one in the northern section of the competition. It does say that the fixture will take place at Abelone Park during the week commencing the 8th. We've got it down, they've got it down on the website. We've got it down on the website as the 10th, but it will be commencing the 8th. Uh, to the end of that week, I would suppose. So, what do you think about that, Mariners fans? Crew in the uh, in the first round of the League Cup. Um, I can tell are some people happy. Some people are like, oh, Crew, it could have been better. I look at it this way: it's a winnable game. It's not an easy game by any means, but uh, you know, if we're as strong as we can be at home. It's definitely a winnable game. Um, winnable game. Uh, one other little bit of information is that Manchester City's under 21s uh, are the team that are in the Papa John's Trophy uh, with us, Mansfield, and Derby County in um, in the Papa John's. So here I am repeating myself. And uh, it's a great, um, it, it'll be surprising whether, you know, whether, <laughs> whether James will be used, James McAteer will be used for the <laughs> under 21. That'd be funny if it was, wasn't it? John against James. That, that, that <laughs> Let's hope that happens, you know what I mean? But, the, <laughs> but there you go. But um, no, I now I'm going to send it over to you guys. Let me know what. You Mariners fans think, and people around the world as well about this, and Mariners fans around the world as well. What do you think about this? What do you think about the fixtures? Are you happy that we're starting away from home at Leighton Orient? Um, are you pleased that Ben Fox is going back so quick against Northampton? I did see somebody joke earlier saying uh, he may uh, end up going into the wrong dressing room uh, with him coming back so quick. <laughs> I love it. But uh, what's your thoughts on the fixtures? Are you happy with that? Are you pleased about the Evan Corey re-sign? Um, what's your thoughts on the uh, pizza trophy, as I've heard it being called? Uh, but having the uh, under-21s coming for uh, Man City, what do you think of that? And now it's down to you. Like, subscribe down below, leave a comment for me anything you like do share the video as well hit that bell that let you know when i upload some new content and i'm expecting probably to be a little bit busy tomorrow with videos uh, obviously with transfers not being so lively this week they keep teasing us with something don't they so we'll have to wait and see what happens there uh Keep an eye out for any other Grimsby Town news. Uh, but yeah, give me your views on the fixtures, on the League Cup tie, on the Papa John's Trophy, good or bad. And I will see you guys very soon for another video.